Hello again and welcome to Money Tips. This is Charles Kelly. Hope you're having a great day. Hi to everyone on uh, Facebook Live. I uh, hope you're having all a good day there. And I'm just going to invite some groups over there on Facebook Live. Hope you can tune in and join me. Um, today I want to talk to you about a, a new app. Have you ever uh, got involved in uh, a free trial? You've signed up for one of these free trials. It says free for 30 days. Uh, I think I, I recently signed up for a free trial with uh, the Financial Times and I, I, I can't find how to cancel it and, and, and sometimes you just forget about it. So I'm still paying for this subscription. I, you know, I think I can do without really. Um, and, and this happens a lot, doesn't it? You sign up for subscriptions, you forget about them and then like six months later, a year later, you find you've been paying this money because the payment period has kicked in and you, know, you think, well, I didn't want this, this thing or I don't want it anymore. Sometimes it only comes to light when you've, uh, you know, you, your card needs renewing. Like when you're, when my card expires, suddenly I get all these people ring, contact me saying, oh, your card's about to expire, you know, um, please renew your card because we want to keep taking money from you. And I think, well, hang on a second, I've forgotten all about that. So sometimes it's good that your card gets renewed every few years so that you can, you can cancel these subscriptions that you sometimes don't want. Well, there is some good news here. Um, a, a young British entrepreneur has launched a service which automatically cancels UK subscriptions at the end of a free trial period. This is a report from the BBC. Now, before you, you get too excited, I'll, I'll, I'll explain how it works. It's not quite as uh, obvious as it seems, but the app was invented by a guy called Josh Browder, who as a teenager invented an algorithm called Do Not Pay, which continues to successfully fight parking fines. I'll tell you what, parking fines are very difficult to get out of, um, and you've got to be careful with these things. I, I have got out of a couple of parking fines, but sometimes it's easier to just pay them. And certainly you should pay them before you start fighting them, because if you don't pay the parking fines, you can end up in a lot of trouble, and it can end up to be thousands of pounds of bills from courts and bailiffs and all sorts of stuff if you, if you don't pay these things. And they're, they're notoriously difficult to get out of. Um, now, he, he came up with this product. He said when he realised he was being charged £21.99 for, for a gym subscription from a year ago that he was never using. Well, I don't, I don't know that's quite a, a free subscription. I would describe a free subscription as more as something like, you know, you, you, you sign up for a, a service online, like a, a course or a, a subscription in I don't know, meditation or something. You, you get the free trial and then later on you know you're deep in a trance and you've forgotten that you're you're paying for this this trial anyway then he, he said uh, he decided to invent something uh, that would stop all this happening now he said he's got 10,000 people signed up to his free trial surfing which in itself is a free trial he's not charging for it yet so ironically he will, he might start charging for this service later on at the moment his free trial surfing is a free trial and it's launched uh, six weeks ago in the US. Uh, but although Mr. Uh, Browder is from the UK, he now lives there. And two of the mo most subs uh, sub common subscriptions for this service are in fact porn platforms <laughs> followed by Netflix, he says. So how does this work? Now, it's, it's currently only available on the Apple Store, uh, but what, what happens, the customer receives a virtual credit card number uh, and an invented name, which they they use to sign up for the service. Now the card is actually registered to Browder's firm Do Not Pay, and the app then forwards emails between the service provider and the virtual card, so that the customer's email address is secure. And and what he says is, that Mr. Browder says that the card will not work if used to pay for any other form of purchase. It's just used for signing up for these free subscriptions. But he said some platforms are trying to block the service by figuring out which cards belong to Do Not Pay. But he's in league with a big bank, he says. And uh, he said, his exact words, he said, the bank would have to screw a lot of customers to stop the product. They would have to end the entire free subscription trial program, he says. Um, but I, I'm not sure how it works. He said it's taken six months to launch. Uh, right now we're testing it. Um, and I'm not quite sure how this is going to work in, in reality. But clearly something needs to be done about it because it's so easy to forget and you know it's quite difficult to cancel a subscription when when you're paying by a credit card it's much easier to on a bank because you can go online to your bank cancel the direct debit or you can walk into your bank so cancel these these payments and i suggest you you do that every few months you should walk into your bank or go online to your bank and see what you're paying for what 
direct debits are going out of your account, you'll be astounded to, to realize how much money you're wasting. It could be that gym you never use or never visit anymore. It could be a free trial for Netflix or whatever, you know, it, but definitely have a look at that. And uh, But on a credit card, it's not so easy. In fact, credit card companies sometimes are reluctant to even cancel things. They say, no, you have to go to the provider. And often I've found I can't even find the details of the provider. The, you know, you signed up for something online, you paid with your credit card, you get you get some stuff sent to you, and there's often not an easy way to, to contact that provider. They're often in America somewhere, no phone numbers, uh, email addresses that don't answer. Even the contact us section is very difficult to even get to the point where you can send them an email. Because if you say contact us, they say, how can we help? Go to these frequently asked questions. Well, I don't want that. I want to I want to speak to someone. I want to email somebody. Sometimes you know, to get an email address from some of these companies is very difficult. You know, you have to search and search and search until you find a contact us form. They don't want to be contacted because they want to just keep taking your money. So something should be done about it. But at the end of the day, it's up to you really to, to monitor your own finances. Look at your credit card statement uh, and look at your, your bank statement to see what money is going out of your account. Don't be one of these people who says, oh my God, I don't know where it all goes. Where does it all go? Where did all that money I earned go over the years? And this is what I write about in my book, Yes, Money Can Buy You Happiness. I talk about the three R's of money management, the belief system for managing your money and the smart money system in there. It's all in there. It's, it's a nice, colorful book, very simply laid out, and it will tell you how to manage your money and how, how to be happy with your money, but also in control of your money. Because if you're not in control of your money, then things can really get out of hand and you, and you won't be happy. I'm just saying hi to a few people coming on Facebook Live. Now, some other business news in the UK. UK house prices rose at a slower rate in, in the years of July than at any time since September 2012, up by just 0.7%. These are according, according to official figures, not, not just uh, some, you know, an estate agent group. In, uh, and and I'm, going, I'm going to go into this in more detail in tomorrow's episode. We'll, we'll analyse what's happening to the property market in the UK. Another bit of news here. Inflation growth slowed sharply in, in August to 1.7% on an annual inflation after the computer games prices dropped. Clothing prices were slow to recover from summer sales. So inflation is, is a little bit lower. Uh, the consumer prices index measure of inflation fell to 2.1% in July, according to, to the Office for National Statistics. Now, the word of the day, inflation figures are important, um, and the word of the day is CPI. What is the Consumer Prices Index? You often hear about this. Uh, it, it's basically a measure that examines the weighted averages of prices on a basket of consumer goods, such as transportation, food, medical care, and it's calculated by taking price changes from each item on a predetermined basket of goods. And this gives you a, an, an average inflation figure. Um, I mean, for instance, oil has gone down uh, by 20%, the price of crude oil, but the prices in the pumps have not gone down by that much, but they have gone down a little bit. But the price of raw materials is going down, so that might reduce inflation. And uh, the index is used by, as a way by government, businesses and society, investors, to, to, to see what's happening in, in the economy, because they can affect interest rates, tax allowances, wages, state benefits. And in fact, wages at the moment are rising faster than inflation. And when that happens, that, that can be inflationary. And, you know, the Bank of England or the, the central banks can, can raise interest rates. I don't think that's going to happen at the moment. But uh, it's just a way of measuring what's happening uh, to the economy. And it's one of these uh, uh, indicators that I talked about in a previous episode. Inflation, where we look at inflation, we look at wages, growth. Uh, they look at GDP, gross national product, gross domestic product, and all these things to, to calculate where they're going. Are they going to set interest rates at a low rate, at a high rate? Is the government going to increase spending and so on? Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hi to, to Shirley there, tuning in. Hi, Shirley. Uh, and to everyone who's tuned in. And please check out my podcast, which you can find at... Uh, moneytipsdaily.com or you can find it on iTunes and Stitcher. Thanks for tuning in. Speak to you soon. Thanks.